Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Build Your Own PC, and this week I'm talking about hard drive. This is last on my list of components that you need to build a PC, however there will be one more video talking about operating systems and how to install one, but this is the last of the hardware. Now there are two styles of drives to pick from currently, hard disk drives and solid state drives. A hard disk drive uses platters to store data that are read and written on by a magnetic head, and it could be written anywhere on the platter. On the other hand, a solid state drive data is stored on a memory board with semiconductor memory and no moving parts. It works very similar to uh, USB flash drives. Now I have a picture of the inside of each type of drive to give you guys an idea of what's going on with it. As you can see, the, the platter here for the hard disk drive and the read heads going between each platter. Over here we just have the memory chips implanted on the board for the solid state drive. I have a just a quick cheat sheet chart of the differences or traits between the two. Solid state drives are much faster in read write speed so a much greater performance like 10, 15, 20 times better hands down. Also they're more durable since they have no moving, par no moving parts. However, being a newer technology, they are a lot more expensive. A, uh, a Western Digital Black Drive, which is a performance drive that is a hard disk drive that has a one terabyte capacity, is around $75. While a Samsung uh, solid state drive that is also one terabyte is around $430. So as you can see, there is a tremendous difference in price. Uh, actually right now one of the best deals for solid state drives I see is on Amazon for a, a Samsung 250 gig is about $130 so that isn't too bad but once you get up to the one terabyte range the prices are astronomical for the solid state drives. Also uh, hard disk drives are much more available than S SSDs and are just much easier to get. Now uh, how you should go how you should go about deciding which one to get well that's easy you should get one each the best solution is to buy a smaller SSD like like a 250 gig or maybe even a 120 just to install Windows and keep your files that you access a lot on that and which will allow Windows to boot faster and load your applications faster than if they were installed on the hard disk drive then take your large files such as games movies songs, uh, photos, those kind of things, and store them on your hard disk drive so all the stuff that you're not using all the time isn't taking up precious space on your better performing uh, solid state drive. However, you could probably, if you're going to buy the small one, you could still fit a few games on the solid state drive just to get those better load times. Uh, going from screen to screen quicker is really nice. Also, you want to make sure that your solid state drive is the first drive in the boot order when your computer starts up. Now when I'm doing the install for the operating system I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. That's it's not a big deal. Now this is the point where we're going to go to the tech uh, practical tutorial where I install one of each type of drive into my PC. Hey everyone welcome to the practical tutorial. I'm going to install uh, a couple of hard drives into the computer here to finish out our build. I have one each, a 500 gig Seagate uh, 7200 RPM hard disk drive, which is kind of bulky. Use a SATA. Uh, on the other hand, here we have a 120 gig Samsung Pro, I believe it is, but it's a, I think it's a Samsung 840 uh, solid state drive, as you can see. It's a much smaller drive for being so much more powerful and per for performance and all that, like I mentioned before in, in the other part of the video. Uh, now what they do now, uh, I actually took this tray from my newer computer because it supports uh, the mount solid state drives where the, the, the original trays for this one do not, so I'm just going to use the one from that. So since I already got them set in, I'm just going to slide them in here, slide them in the hard drive cage. And 
and I'm going to flip it over. Oops. Like I said, that almost had that drive fall out. Anyway. Like I said, hopefully, oh, there, I was worried you didn't have enough light there. Like, like I was saying, um, I have to flip it over to the other side to plug in the SATA cables and the power for the SATA cables. So I'm just going to go in and do that. Now, which SATA cable for the ports you plug into which drive, it really doesn't matter for the boot order. But like I said in the next video, I'm going to show you where to go in your setup for your BIOS for your computer to set the, the boot order of the drives while before you install Windows. So there, now our drives are connected to the motherboard and for power, so I'm going to flip it over again. So now our, our drives are installed. So there, our build, uh, let me go, go back here. Our build is uh, all the way complete. Everything's plugged in. Uh, the next video, I'll have a monitor, keyboard, and everything set up to power it up. I'll leave it open just to see I didn't, you know, tamper with anything. So yeah, our, our, our build is complete. So like I said, next video, I'll power up, show you the end result, and uh, we'll install Windows and finish out the video series. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later, and remember to like and subscribe to my videos. Thanks. Bye.